In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a text layer and then add a colored gradient stroke to that text layer right inside of Adobe Photoshop. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got a canvas created, we first want to begin by creating a brand new title. So we'll press the T icon on the left side of Photoshop, select anywhere on the image and just type out a word of your choice. Now, once you've done that, you just want to increase the size of this. You want to change the font to a font that you're happy with. You want to change the weight if you need to change that. And then once you're happy with the look of that, we can just center that up in the center of Photoshop. So now that we've got our text layer created, we want to go over to the right side of Photoshop, select that text layer. We're going to double click or right click and go all the way up to blending options. Now in blending options, we can go all the way down to stroke or we'll turn stroke on by pressing this box. And then we'll select the word stroke to load up the stroke menu. In stroke, we've got a variety of different settings. We've got size. So if we pull this all the way to the left, it's going to give us a really small stroke. And if we pull this to the right, then it's going to be ridiculous and just a bit too over the top. So find a point that you're happy with. I'm going to go for around 13 pixels and then we'll move down to position. At the moment, it's set to outside. And this means the stroke is outside of the text. If we pull it to inside, then it's going to pull that in and it's going to be a bit too much, I think. So go down to center. That's going to give us a slightly different look. But again, that's not quite what I'm going for. So I'm going to select outside and then we'll move down to blend mode. Blend mode is basically just going to give you different transparency modes. But if you want to keep this solid, then I would keep this set to normal. Now we'll move down to fill type. And at the moment, it's color. And this means it's one block color. If you wanted to change the color of this block, you just select that box and select any color of your choice. But in order to add the gradient effect to the stroke, you want to select fill type and select gradient. Now this is going to load up an extra menu for us. Double click on the gradient and you've got all of these different presets here for you. So you can select one of these, but if it's not quite doing the job for you, then you could go down to this area down here, double click on this first box and select a color of your choice. So let's select pink. We'll go down to the second box. So that's the green box here. We'll change the color of this to a nice light blue. And then once you're happy with the look of that, we can press OK. Next up, we've got style. And at the moment, it's set to linear, but we've got radial. We've got angle, reflected, diamond, and shape burst. So feel free to select a style that works for you. I'm going to keep this on linear. And then from there, you can go down to angle and you can change the angle of the gradients. So pulling this down to zero is going to make the pink on the left and the blue on the right. But if we pull this to 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees, it's going to put the pink on top and the blue on the bottom. So find the look that works for you. And then last but not least, we've got scale. And you can basically increase or decrease the gap between the colors. So if you pull this all the way up to 150%, then we've got a very smooth transition from pink into blue. But if you pull that down to zero, then it's very harsh. So one side is pink, there's a line, and then the other side is blue. So find a number in the scale that works best for yourself. And once you're happy with the look of that, you just want to press OK. And there you go. You've got your text, you've got your stroke, and you've got a gradient color applied to the stroke. So there you go. That's how you create that text effect right inside of Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.